But a good place to start is just everything worldwide since 2008. So, so there's a special search here that does that, or you can just click search. And here we are, we get uh, all details of all of the export licenses. So you'll see here on this dashboard, there's a lot of facts and figures. Um, the most obvious one, the most prominent one here, this 47 billion pounds, the value of licenses approved, is also, I'm afraid, the most misleading figure, as it only covers one particular type of license, standard or single licenses, uh, which have a financial value attached. I'll say more of that in the breakout so about that in the breakout session. There are a whole range of open or unlimited licenses, which are very non-transparent and which give permission for repeated and unlimited deliveries. And we have no idea exactly how much are exported on these open licenses. Um, a rough estimate based on some other data we have is that this figure cut generally captures about half of total UK arms exports, but it varies a lot from country to country. Still, this is very useful for giving us an, an idea of, of the value of these arms exports, about where they're going and what sort of equipment. So there's also figures for the number of single licenses, standard licenses issued, and the number of open unlimited licenses issued. Below here, you can see um, some details of this. First of all, the countries that they're going to, or destinations. Um, so you see Saudi Arabia, by far the biggest 11 billion pounds worth, again, just the standard licenses, not the open ones. If we click here, see full results, we get a full list of countries ordered in by, by value of licenses. So you can see the top five, Saudi, USA, France, Oman, and Italy, and so on. You can always get back to where you started by clicking back to overview. Then going down a bit further, we can see the categories of equipment that are being licensed uh, by value, again, just the standard licenses. So the military goods that you need a license for are divided into various categories. So ML10, by far the most uh, common one, everything to do with aircraft, helicopters, drones, and all their components. That's 23 billion, almost half of the total. Then we've got next is ML4, grenades, bombs, missiles, countermeasures, uh, 6.9 billion, and so on. And again, all their components of, of bombs and missiles and so forth. Small arms, 2.9 billion. Again, you can get a full list of all the categories by the value, and you can go back to the overview. We also get details of the type of equipment that's exported. Now, this isn't a precise description. It's a, just a very general description. So some things, it's fairly clear what it means. An assault rifle, though it doesn't tell us which type of assault rifle. Um, but components for combat aircraft, that could mean anything from a, a small electronic component to, say, the wings. The wings of an aircraft, that's the component. So it doesn't really tell you so much. Now, as I say, this was just searching for everything to everywhere since 2008. So most of the time, we're going to want to narrow this down somewhat. So we have various filters to narrow down our search on the left. Most obviously, destination. We can choose one or more countries. Now, for example, India and China have just uh, started a, a border skirmish, which is rather troubling. So we might be interested in all arms that have been approved to India and China since 2008. 1.8 billion and 303 open unlimited licenses. We might want to narrow down the dates. Uh, we might want recent exports. So we have a from and to date. 
So I'm going to choose everything from 2015. And if you really want to, you can even select month and then date for either the from or the to. So Beth has taken it down to 1.1 billion and 150 open licenses. We can look for the rating of military goods. We might decide we're particularly concerned with everything to do with aircraft, ML-10. Again, you can select multiple categories if you want. You can always get rid of your filters by just clicking the little X. And there you're back to, to all types of equipment. I'll put this one back in. So that uh, is some of the filters. There's a lot of other ones which I'll go into in the breakout session. But the next thing you might want to do is drill down into the details of the licenses that have been issued. So below this first box with the financial value and the numbers of licenses, if you click on see full results here, you get a list of all the licenses that have been issued. Currently ordered by newest first, most recent, or you can order by country name or by most valuable. Of course, most valuable only covers the standard single licensing. So what do these uh, tell you? So this is a date here, 2019-12-30, so 30th of December 2019. A single, single individual export license to India, and it's got several types of things authorized. Components from combat aircraft, components from military aero engines. They're both ML-10 aircraft stuff, and the total value of ML-10 things authorized is just over 3 million. Then we've got in the same license components for artillery, ML2, just over 42,000, not so much. And uh, this one here, rather long description. Uh, and so you, we, we've got 954 licenses in total. And you can look down the list and then you, you can get more and carry on looking down the list. As I say, we can also order by most valuable. What's the biggest license that's been issued recently to either India or China? It was in back in 2015, and we don't know ex um, exactly what's what here, but we've got ML-10 licenses, aircraft stuff, adding up to 13 million. That's the biggest single one in this time period. And, and a small amount of other stuff. So this allows you to really drill down um, into the details of what's being uh, authorized for export. And I can say uh, a bit, quite a lot more about it in the breakout session, and you can do some exploration yourself. Back to the overview, always takes you back to the dashboard. And so I will finish there.